Don't buy a new router for your PS5 until you learn the difference between 2.5 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. You want to set this manually. You can go into your PS5 and go into settings. Then you want to go down here where it says network. Then you want to go to where settings, set up internet connection. Then you want to hit the menu button, which is right next on to the left of the triangle button, right above the square the little three dashes. And if you go down here to where it says Wi-Fi frequency bands, most likely it's set to automatic already, but you can choose between five gigahertz if you want it to be that, or 2.4 gigahertz, it'll automatically set it to that, and that'll be the connection you're permanently on. Let's start over 2.5 gigahertz, which is the most common Wi-Fi. The majority of routers are set to this, and your devices will probably, by default, most likely connect to this particular a frequency. It has the furthest range possible. So this would be really good if your PS5 isn't near where your router is located and you're going to be at a distance a little bit. It can penetrate the walls a lot further. So it makes sense to use it for this particular type of connection. However, it does have a little bit slower speeds the further you get away from and its maximum speed is a little bit limited, but it's a little bit more consistent versus five gigahertz Wi-Fi, which gives you much faster speeds than you get with 2.4 gigahertz. However, the range is definitely a lot smaller in terms of where you can be near for the router to be able to get for the PS5 to be able to connect to it. Use this if your PS5 is pretty much right next to the room where your router is or right next to the router itself or just in the vicinity. Five gigahertz is definitely the one to choose from. Now, most modern devices will automatically choose between 2.5 and five gigahertz because most newer or most modern routers out there actually broadcast both signals out there. However, these Wi-Fi speeds in terms of frequencies doesn't necessarily tell the whole story or determine how well your internet connection is gonna be for your PS5. There's a little bit more to this. Now, while your router will advertise these faster speeds, it doesn't necessarily mean that it goes that fast, especially with your PS5. It's probably not gonna go as fast as it says on there because devices have limitations with that. Also, your internet connection and a number of devices on your network play a role in this as well too. Let's say you're paying from your internet service provider, you know, 300 megabits, and you have a ton of different phones, tablets, smart TVs, and, and computers on the network, and it's all over that same 300 megabits uh, sort of uh, bandwidth that you have coming down from it. That is gonna chew away at that, and that's gonna factor into how fast your speeds are on your PS5 when you're connecting in and on that. So you have to be aware of that. Now, most modern routers do have have the ability to do what's called QoS management. You can prioritize which devices get the higher bandwidth or majority of bandwidth or even over a certain period of time or, or in perpetuity, depending on how you set those. But I would recommend if you can increase your speeds up to the fastest possible that your internet service, internet service provider provides, like gigabit speed, if it's available to you and you can afford it, I would recommend going that route because that's gonna give you the most speed possible and the most bandwidth possible. So it really doesn't matter how many devices are on the network in a common home, you should be able to have the fastest speeds possible on your PS5 when you're connected with Wi-Fi. But if the, you want the fastest speeds possible, Wired connection is always gonna be the best for that. You're gonna get the most consistent and fastest when doing that.